Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Scooby-Doo unboxing videos. Today, I have quite a good selection of Scooby-Doo's to unbox over the next course of the next few weeks. And it's really windy today, so sorry about the wind. This is the entire set. Well, I'm missing one. It's the Legend of the Vampire. And I can't seem to find that slipcover anywhere. It was on eBay, but it was sold before I had a chance to buy it. And I couldn't find it in Tesco's or Amazon. And I can't find it anywhere else on eBay. So I'm still looking for it. So when I do get that one, I will add it to the pile and to the compilation. But I will be going over and showing you each of the discs. So we have, in no particular order, we have Ghoul School, a nice slip cover to go with it. And they've even done matching, like, inserts as well to go with it, which is terrific. I think this makes up for our 50 year fan anniversary one because Walmart had their own, and now we've got these nice exclusive ones, which is pretty unique. So, this is Ghoul School. And then we have Camp Scare. I don't know how many are they done. I think it's just the Legend of the Vampire is the last one, and then that's all of it. Reluctant Werewolf. Again, looks really good. The Goblin King, of course. Got to have that. The Loch Ness Monster. Oh! Scooby Doo and the Alien Invaders. Brilliant. Well, the Witch's Ghost. With nice purple as well. Love this one. And then the last one Zombie Island. Literally. This is so sick. I love this one as well. May I'm gassed for this. But yeah, only one more, and I think that's The Legend of the Vampire. I don't know if there's any other more to this set, but I'm always looking, so if I ever come across it, I will definitely buy it. So, starting things off, we will be doing Zombie Island to kick it all off together. I got this one from the range, so I guess I can add that to this. I haven't been to the range in ages, but that's another place I get all my Scooby-Doo DVDs from. They're, the one that I go to has a nice DVD section, so I get my own pick. So hopefully, when I go back there again in the next few weeks, I pick up, hopefully they have The Legend of the Vampire, pick that one up, or pick some new ones up. Who knows? But as you can tell, it was two for six pounds. I will be removing the sticker. Um, hopefully it doesn't damage the slip cover. The slip cover is not in the best condition. You can see a little tear there, but it's still good nick regardless. Nice purplish, uh, purplish pink background with the Mystery Ink Gang going through the swamp. And I really love how they took time with doing this one, whereas before they would have just rushed it. Then on the side we have the spine right here. Just want to show it off quickly for viewers. And then on the back we have Get Ready for Far Out Fun. And then we've got the Mystery um, Ink Gang in the corner of the screen. And it has another Sparco sticker there, so that would probably be another thing I may have to remove. But there are some creases on the slip cover that are just like slightly visible down here, so that's okay. It's a PG and mild comic humour. Zombie Island is the most terrifying Scooby-Doo movie of, of its of time, so picking this up add to my collection with a sleeve it's pretty awesome on the bio description here from the zoom straight in it goes in this feature length uh, animated scooby-doo movie scooby-doo shaggy velma daphne and fred reunite to solve the most frightening full funny mysteries of their careers the screen teams headed to the haunted island to investigate the ghost of moonscar the pirate but it turns out the swashbuckler's spirit isn't the only creepy thing on the island the sleuths also meet up with cat creatures and zombies, and it looks like it's the first time in their lives these ghouls might actually be real. Just as things start to get really spooky, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy save the day for a little help from a surprisingly spooky source. Scooby-Doo and Zombie Island is the most hilarious Scooby-Doo adventure of all time that dishes up equality portion of music, laughs, thrills, and chills. Really excited about this movie, and I'm super excited with the sequel coming out so at the time of this recording i'm recording this in august so it's before the sequel comes out so you're seeing this unboxing after the sequel 
just want to clarify that. So, yeah, I have pre-ordered it on Amazon and eBay. So it's pretty pointless me telling you this because you, you're going to find out after I've already did, did did my assessment of it. But anyhow, let's go straight in. Preparing it, like I said, the DVD insert. It's also matching the slip cover, even from front to back, which is amazing. And it has actually a special features label in this one that isn't on the slip cover that's really intriguing special features is the zombie island featurette so let's go straight into this one by cutting down the side okay that is off now, moment of truth, the inside. And I was pre-worn because I went to Kex and I picked up um, Booze Brothers pre-owned. I got the sealed one, but I picked the pre-owned one and that didn't come with artwork. So I'm hoping it's just a Kex copy and not the slipcover one. And no, it hasn't got artwork. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you know, props to them. They got halfway, I'll give them that. They, they gave us... A slip cover. They even gave us a nice artwork on the DVD insert. But then this. The DVD. Why did they do this? It says yes, yeah, Scooby Doo on Zombie Island is there. It is double sided. But why did they do this? Like like what was the point? Add a bit of artwork. Okay, I, I understand a double sided disc because one side has English and that and the other side did all the other languages. So that's probably why. But they could have added like a two disc or just made made it onto a new disc that holds more memory, and then you can add artwork. Like that's the possibility. But there's no recycling logo, so at least that's something to look forward to. Like they didn't didn't mess up the case in any way, so maybe I could just make do with that. But anyway, that is Scooby Doo and Zombie Island with the slip cover. I have no idea what this edition is called because that's why I had a hard time collecting these because they're not properly labelled under anything, and I can't seem to find them anywhere on the Warner Bros. website. So if you guys know any information about what this collection is called then please let me know. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you are new, make sure you turn on post notifications by ticking that bell to keep updated when I post new and videos each week. But until then, take care.